All right, let's get rolling, everybody. We got some things to talk about. Uh, obviously, a little bout of snow, wet, sloppy snow did come on through this morning. It's been wet. It's been just dreary all day after with the drizzle, the mist, the low clouds, the fog. Yes, temperatures, they've at least been rising, though, melting uh, some of this off. Temperatures here this evening, probably on the low side at 36 degrees at 7 p.m. We have risen to 37 in Grand Rapids. It's a tough temperature pattern really to predict as we go forward because, you know, we're bringing in milder air after the warmest part of the day and also breaking up clouds along the lakeshore. But I'll tell you, this uh, kind of thrust of milder air that is arriving, it's, it's outperforming what uh, would typically be dropping us off. So we've got counter factors uh, to predict the numbers. Bottom line is we're at 33 or so at 11 o'clock tonight. We'll get down into the mid to upper 20s. In this overnight period, as skies are beginning to see a breaking up of the clouds to some extent closer to the lakeshore, that will work its way inland with time. Some new wet sloppy snow for Tuesday afternoon after around 3 o'clock, I would say, here in GR. A little bit earlier down to the south because that's where it's arriving from, the south and the west. Uh, yeah, it's cold enough for snow, but just marginally. I mean, you know, it was right on the threshold for the longest time. It looked like, you know, we'd have a wintry mixture last night and then late in the game, uh, the, the model started to show a little bit more in the way of snow. So just a degree or two up above can dictate what makes it down to the surface. Ended up getting primarily snow with the system this past morning, uh, about two to three inches in the Grand Rapids area. Tomorrow, I'm thinking an inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches, something like that. Not as much as this morning, but enough to cause problems on those roadways for your drive home tomorrow. So be aware of that as it comes in just after three o'clock, I do believe. Got another system I'm tracking here for overnight Wednesday into Thursday morning. That's a weak one, but uh, you know, depending on the trajectory that that load takes, could be a coating to an inch of snow primarily south of GR at that time. And then if there's going to be a bigger system, that would be on Saturday uh, with uh, an area of low pressure that could have a lot more Gulf of Mexico moisture with it, but still a number of days away. These models can change dramatically, folks. So we can't get too excited about anything that's projected for Saturday afternoon and evening, but it is something to flag and watch as we go forth. Here's the energy for tomorrow's system out over Colorado. That will scoot pretty quickly in our direction overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Increasing clouds after they break up here in the short term. There you can see it on the graph model. We get rid of the clouds or at least break them up to some extent and then and start to increase overnight. We'll wake up to mostly cloudy skies on Tuesday. It'll be dry though through the morning into the afternoon after around two, three o'clock, three, four o'clock probably in Grand Rapids. Here comes this next wave of snow that will arrive on the scene and uh, it will cause some problems on the roadways, folks. Temperatures are going to make their way to about 34 for a high tomorrow, so it's going to be wet. But as the snow does start coming down, we'll likely drop those surface temperatures to about 31 or 32 right at that threshold where it will be very wet out there on those uh, roadways, but also slick as the uh, snow rates will likely compensate and accumulate with time. Here's the system Wednesday night into early Thursday. I mean, it's just a little baby, just a little baby with a streak of snow showers, perhaps, and to mainly focus south of GR. So maybe a coating to an inch, something like that. Then it goes drier uh, through Friday into Saturday morning. But this next system, which has more oomph to it, more juice to it, here it comes. And depending on the track, it could be a mixture, could be snow, it could be uh, you know, the whole variety of uh, the precipitation around here. So we'll see. Doug and Janice, there it is, looking colder by early next week.